Hi everyone, I'm Heidi. I'm the teacher training ambassador here at Twist and I'm here with Jennifer, owner of the studio. Uh, and we are just discussing some great things about our yoga teacher training. And as a business owner, I just wanted to ask you uh, what you think is like, makes our training so special and unique compared to others out there. Uh, it, it's actually, I would say our teacher training program here at the studio is the thing that I am most proud of that the studio has put out into the world. Um, and there's kind of three things I would say that make our training so special. And I will brag endlessly about our training, mostly because I am not that involved in it. So I am on the outside kind of being a spectator. So I'm going to start out with the core, most important part of our training that is very different than other trainings. There's literally not a training in this area that compares to our training as far as the depth of knowledge of our teachers. So you'll notice out there if you're comparing trainings, oftentimes there's one, maybe two teachers that lead the entire training and they're gonna be teaching all of the different parts. Um, some of those teachers have only been teaching for two years. So they may be amazing teachers, but their depth of knowledge um, is not quite there in my opinion. Um, I always come back to that core value of being the student. And I think if I am dedicating the time and the money to do a teacher training, I really want to um, learn from people who have studied much deeper than I have. So in our teacher training, we have between six and eight teachers that teach in our training. We have Heidi and Allie that lead the training. Between them, they have hundreds of hours of training themselves in all different places and not just vinyasa yoga. Um, as far as leading, leading many different trainings. They also take trainings on their own from teachers all across the country. So their knowledge depth is just insane compared to anywhere else that you're gonna see. And then we have teacher, a special teacher that comes in that just teaches meditation. And that's all she teaches is meditation. She teaches other teachers how to teach meditation. So we, she's definitely probably on the West Coast, one of the best meditation teachers um, that you can find. Um, and she only teaches in our teacher training. Um, and then we have a teacher that teaches the philosophy and history of yoga um, out of LA. She teaches, again, only in our teacher training. She's been teaching for over 40 years. She is the go-to premier person to learn about um, history and philosophy in the United States. Um, we have somebody that comes in that does prenatal, postnatal, and restorative, um, and they are the best of the best, run a program just teaching that on their own. Um, and then we have a teacher that teaches the eight limbs of yoga, and that is her compassion and her baby, and that is the that is what she is known to teach. Um, I teach the business of yoga, most boring part of all of them, but also important because I love the business side. So I would say the first thing is the teachers by far, the depth. Um, the second thing I would say is um, uh, you will learn when you do our teacher training how to actually write a sequence. And it sounds like you would learn that in every teacher training, but there's quite a few out there where you're handed a sequence and your job is to memorize it and your job is to learn how to regurgitate it in class. You have no idea why a forward fold is where it is, why there's a child's pose, you know, why there's some different type of rotation of the hip. You're just memorizing that and you might kick ass at teaching that one sequence theoretically, but if you have someone come to class like we did yesterday, who's just recovering from a broken wrist, right? Julie came in and she just had surgery on her wrist. She wants to come in and do class. Now you're like, oh my gosh, I was planning a class that was all plain. Now what am I gonna do? I have no idea what else to do. So our training teaches in a sequence what makes a sequence effective, what um, makes it feel good in the student's body, but also make them stronger and more mobile um, and whatever the focus is of that sequence. So you break down sequences from pose to pose to pose. You create your own sequences. You have to defend your sequences and say why you did them and then you get to learn to teach them. So that's huge. And then the third one, I'll be brief on this one, is the size of the training. Um, there's many trainings out there that have 20, 30, 40 people in them and two teachers. Um, our trainings are 15 people or less, 
and it gives you time to create this relationship in your cohort um, between the people you're learning with and the teachers. So you're really on a two to one ratio at most student to teacher, very unique. Um, and studios can only do that, I can tell you coming from the business side, if your teacher training is not your sole money maker for your business. So I don't run a training just to make money for our studio. I run a training because I know when people graduate and they show a certificate that they graduated from our teacher training, that I will stand behind it and be incredibly proud that that person is out there being a teacher. I have other um, studio owners from across the area call and say, hey, um, I need to hire. Who do you have that just graduated? And they know that the people that graduate from our training know how to teach. Those are the three main reasons. Yeah. Thank you.